We turn now to our ABC News exclusive on those mysterious letters with white powder. More than 100 of them sent to dozens of Republican lawmakers and political figures this month. Our senior investigative correspondent Aaron Katursky has the latest. This morning, authorities are expressing confidence whoever is behind scores of white powder letters will be caught. I can't discuss any of the specifics of the investigation, but uh, I'm optimistic that uh, we're going to make an apprehension here. It's not clear who's sending these letters to Republican officials in Tennessee, Montana and Kansas or why. Officials say enclosed for the white powdery substance were cryptic notes reading, it is important not to choke on your ambition. In Kansas, there were so many recipients, about 100, Police struggled to keep up. Every single bomb squad and every single hazmat unit was engaged in this investigation. That is just an incredible drain on law enforcement resources that, that frankly takes away from other investigative priorities. The letters took so much of the KBI's attention. The director told us his agents missed the possible seizure of a substantial shipment of fentanyl. We have no idea how much fentanyl is out there in the community right now. We have no idea how many overdoses and deaths are going to take place when we had uh, a realistic likelihood of being able to intercept that shipment in the first place. It's why authorities do not consider these letters harmless, even though the powder they contain tested negative for any biological agent. For four days, Michael, Kansas investigators could do nothing else. Aaron Katursky, thank you so much for that. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.